Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how to share a file and also how to then access a file that's been shared with you. So here's something I created a while ago. I'm going to choose to share that with someone in the class. So I would hit the share button. Um, and then this tells me if there's anyone else who can, can already access that document. So this one here says that Mr. McGugan can edit it. Now, if I was to, let's say I was going to share it with uh, Callum. So I'd find Callum's error, I could type his email address in, and I can now choose um, what sort of access Callum has. So for the most part, when you're sharing files, you're going to probably want the person just to look at it. So you're going to change this drop down here to can view. If you are working with someone on a team, perhaps, and you want them to be able to edit it, then you would leave that with the as edit option. Now that's a default. So most of the things, if you've already shared stuff, it will be like that, um, uh, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do though for some of the ones is I'm going to actually sh share it as a, as a can view file. Um, what that means is that you um, can only uh, see it and you um, will have to create your own version of that if you want to edit it. Okay, so I'm not going to share that just now, but I'm going to um, uh, show you what it would look like. So I've shared that, so Callum will get a message. Um, it's been shared with him. Um, and if you wanted to access it, he could come down here, go shared with me, and he would find that file was, was somewhere here. So here's one that actually was shared with me um, by Callum earlier. So if I looked at that one, he's shared this to me with all the permissions. So I can now, if I want to go in here, I can, let's choose that, um, I can change these sizes um, and it, it updates it. So I can go in and I can um, show him some stuff on there maybe and then he can carry on working with it. So it's actually working in a team. If if it was shared that was just um, read only, um, I found this one on, the, which is a, this is a public, this side here is a public document, I just found it looking in public. If I go there, Tony, whoever he is, has created it, but he shared it with the world, but just so that they can look at it. So um, if you look up here, when it loads, it will say, this view, this document is view only. So when I share stuff with you, it will say view only, and you'll have to make a copy. So if you make a copy, I call it whatever Dragon um, 2, I don't matter, and OK that, you will then get a version of that file in your Onshape documents, um, effectively owned by you, that you can then edit. Um, when I share stuff with you on the class, if I want maybe you to, to complete some drawings, or, or I've given you some bits for you to put together, that's the process you'll need to go through so that you get your own version of the file that you can then edit. Okay, so I'll leave Tony's Dragon spinning around. That's how you share documents and also how you find documents that have been shared with you and how you access them if they are um, read uh, view 